So today we're making blueberry ham pie. Some cornstarch, cinnamon, and sugar. One egg with some milk for egg wash. Blueberries. And last but not least, pre-made pie dough. Or you could just make it from scratch. Yay! Alright, so you're going to take your cornstarch, sugar, and cinnamon mixture and put it into the blueberries. Like so. While I just sit and stare. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to mix it up completely. Oh, and by the way, we forgot that you need one lemon or lime. We only had lime, so. Doing a little lime dance. <laughs> Grooving out, you know? Clearly, I cannot squeeze lemons, well, a lime, at all. Alright, so you're just gonna mix that all in together. And if you want it more sweet, you could add more sugar. But our blueberries were pretty sweet on their own, so it just depends. If your blueberries are sweet, you don't have to put that sugar. Pour the sugar. Pour it. <laughs> no, we're on a diet. What diet? <laughs> mix and mix and. Okay, so after you mix it, you'll put it aside and unwrap the dough. We have a little trouble. Well, maybe I do. It's <laughs> Nicole proof. <laughs> Unroll the dough on a flat surface. You should probably use flour, it doesn't stick. But of course, knowing us, we forgot. Oops! Next, if you have circular cutters, use them, but we don't, so we just use a bowl. That worked, and just cut out little circles for your pies. Make sure to cut out an even number of circles. You can also collect the scraps and roll it out to cut out more circles. The more the merrier. So now you take a spoonful of blueberries and place them in the center of your hand pie. Get another circle of dough that you cut out and put it on top of the blueberries and just pinch it around on the edges. You can use your fingers or fork so to close it up. The beam of light! Be sure to cut little vents on top of your pies so they don't explode. Next, you want to whisk the egg and milk together and brush it over your hand pies. Set your oven to 425 degrees and place your pies inside for about 20 minutes or until they're golden brown. And there's your finished product. We really hope that you guys try this recipe. It's really good and perfect for summer. So just make sure to subscribe and check out all the links in the down bar. See you in the next video. Bye! Bye.